What's up, little fellas? Welcome all for a sweet little treat. Me reacting to me reacting to me reacting to my old videos. This is a yearly series that we're doing where I react to me reacting to me reacting to my old videos. This is year three. Year three. So if you haven't seen the other me reacting to me reacting videos or me reacting to my old videos, go check those out so you can watch me react to me reacting to me reacting. Basically, the gist is I've been making YouTube videos since 2008. And when I tell a lot of people that, they're like, what? To the how? Because I was 10 at the time. It's not like I was 10 and I uploaded like one video. I've been consistently making YouTube videos since I was 10. Like a little Chinese factory worker. I've been pumping them out like Doc Martin. My supple little hands have been needing content. Oh, hell no. And it's nice, it's nice to reflect it and go back and look at it. And yeah, without uh, further ado, me reacting to me reacting to me reacting to my old videos. <laughs> What's up, fellas? All right, that, that backstory on the pinata. We already got useful information. <laughs> I bought that pinata to fill with maggots for a boy's video, and I never did. And it looked tasty, so I took a bite. We're going to be reacting to me reacting to my old videos. Our new yearly tradition. So about a year and a half ago, I think it was, I made a video reacting to a bunch of my old videos. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. It's like st the stash level is is pitiful here. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I with with the hair combined, I do miss having longer hair. I'm growing my hair out, fellas. I know that's gonna make a lot of you happy. I'm growing my hair out again. I'm gonna get a little bit shorter than that, but I'm growing it out. But the stash level is like it's Pedro. It's Pedro. It's Pedro's stash level. Uh, my stash level has significantly increased in the last year, which is good. That's why it's good to do these series so that I can compare and contrast my stash level. And I would like to say, boys. Ladies too, gerbils. The stash is improved. If you haven't seen that video, you should go see it so that you can come watch me react to me reacting to my old videos. There's a lot to learn. There will be absolutely nothing new to learn in this video. Basically, the gist is I have been making YouTube videos since I was 10. Just pumping them out like a sweatshop worker. And that was kind of always my thing. It's kind of always what I've done. That's always what I was known for my friends as that person who does that thing. And uh, yeah, not much has changed. Except now I'm not starving to death. Update, I'm still not starving to death, which is awesome. So without further ado me reacting to me reacting to my old videos believe it or not there is a time that predates nono square it's, it's hard to believe i've trauma blocked that whole era i it's still back there also why do i sound like that why 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 am i talking like that i was so uncomfy in this era i'm gonna look at all my it's really cringe embarrassing disgusting just downright horrible videos that I've been making for the last 13 years. And I mean, nothing's changed, really. Still, nothing's still changed. I <laughs> update, nothing's changed. <laughs> this, nothing has changed at all. And I'm glad I learned how to change my camera settings. I do look very smooth there. How am I looking now? Comment down below. I change them once again. I change them every video, fun fact, because they, they just never look right to me. So I've just kind of settled. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm scared and alone. I'm very, sh I have very shiny nose. There's not much avoiding that. Oh, the mood lighting. Do you like that? I need to fix my camera though. It's like pointing straight down at my fucking forehead. We joined the platform February 25th, 2008. That's cooked. Oh, oh! That is very cooked. 15 years, baby. Almost 16 years ago. Oh! I think if you quantitated the, the amount of time I spent making YouTube videos in, uh, in my whole life and put it on a piece of paper, I don't think I'd ever be the same again. I think it would break me. G steals Mario's news. Classic. This classic. is classic. Classic. Hello. Classic. He knows Hello. what's up. Hello. 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 Hey, turn the TV, TV down. down. That would put me yes. at the age of yes. 10 when I uploaded this video and made it. That's kind of fucked. Like barely 10. And uh, that was made in Windows Movie Maker using images that I made in sequence in MS Paint that I composed out of a sprite sheet that I used to download my Mugen character. That's, that's true. I wasn't sure if I covered that this time, but yes, yes, they were sprite sheets. And I actually, I don't know if I talk about it in this, but I guess we're about to find out you know, either of me talk about it in this. I have at least 100 to 200 deleted videos because I made a lot of Super Mario 64 speedruns, Dead Rising one videos it's weird stuff i don't know there's a lot of deleted videos between 2008 and 2011 that i wish i never deleted bad people crap people crap people crap this is my introduction into kind of like animating and also the first time i had a video blow up because keep in mind before this i have probably 100 plus videos that i've 
deleted. That are I, I still remember doing that. I, I really wish that I didn't. I actually regret it. Like I had a lot. It was probably a couple hundred videos. Yeah. Give you some more backstory. My original videos were on Super Mario 64 speed runs and mods and glitches and other games that I recorded using my flip video camera. That's the one. That's that is the one. That is the flip video camera. I had it. I had it two houses ago. I wish I still had that little relic, man. I propped it thing up against some books. I put a sock. A sock on the door meant that I was I was filming my little vid videos because God forbid grandma or mom walks in and I <laughs> It was serious biz, dude. It was serious biz. A book to prop it up and my 4x3 TV. They're really shit videos, and even though I was only 12, 13, I actually cared about how it looked on the channel. You could change your YouTube background, not the banner, the whole fucking background. Like it was MySpace or Guy yeah. Online. You could change the background, the organization of all the yeah. little columns and shit. This cosmic dance of bursting decadence and, and withheld permission to twist all our arms, arms collectively, collectively but if sweetness can win and it, it can then i'll still be here tomorrow to high five right here oh it hits right, right in the heart, the heart baby. baby he knows he knows what's up the heavy tartota video man that was i don't know why that holds such a special place in my heart i'm actually watching for the first time in my life adventure time right now i've never seen adventure time never ever ever never never ever ever for never ever ever i never seen one episode of adventure time until like a month ago yeah it's a bit weird bit weird because the let me grab voice that i did some of the the VR videos and stuff and but yes I really really did enjoy making those source filmmaker videos that was like the biggest creative outlet for me when I was young where I found a glitch where I could rip someone's intestines out in Dead Rising over and over again and I posted an eight minute video of me just pulling a guy's intestines out I cannot imagine what my mom thought when she went onto my YouTube channel and saw this like 12 year old post an eight minute video of just like pulling like shoestrings out of a guy exploiting that Minecraft Number one, unlimited resources. Now this was, this was pretty fucking cash. Ground that was right not, that followers. was not this cash at all. Crazy. I can't hear a word I'm saying. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas that year, I had convinced my mom to get me a gaming computer. Why do I sound so fuckable and supple and like I sound like a little femboy man? Why was you guys a? Uh, why was you guys not boiling? Boiling? Boiling would work. Why were you guys not boiling me? I said it again. Bullying me more in the early no no square days, man. Like what? This is the uh, the gaming computer that my mom got for me. This is the gaming computer. <laughs> Give me one moment. This Where's he going? This is the graphics card from that gaming computer. Wait, wait, no. Fuck you. Give me a moment. Give me one moment. This is the graphics card from that gaming computer, the first one. And between this video and now, I actually used it uh, in the gaming fish tank build that we did a while ago, and it works. This graphics card, my first graphics card still actually works. Kind of crazy. Do it, it do play Minecraft. Um, I kept it because it's literally my first graphics card. I thought it was cool. I wanted to keep it. Okay, wait, what he's not telling you though is that I kept it because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder, and we've learned that since, since shelf tour, and my shelf is only grown exponentially since I moved into a, a new house. Pure magnitude of my shelf is unmatched at this point. I I kept it because I'm a, I'm crazy. I'm I'm a psychopath. I'm fricked in the head and I keep everything. I have little trinkets from every video, even if it's like a taco shell. I got a taco shell on my shelf. You see you see that you see that dust in there? There's like skin particles and like 10 years old. Should we do it? Should we eat my 10 year old skin particles? Do we consume the child? <laughs> Minecraft Survival with yes! Venomite, episode That's one. So yes, dude, this, is the, so this was the start. <laughs> Nostalgia, <laughs> baby. Welcome to my new Minecraft Survival series. You know what's funny to me about this freaking this goober right here saying that? Even though this was only like a year and six months ago or some shit like that. To me, it doesn't sound like this guy's getting freaking confidence in his voice. And it's interesting to me because I, I get comments sometimes where it's like... I just feel like I feel like Juicy isn't himself anymore in videos. Thank you. This was this was pretty early on to me even putting my face in videos. I was still self-conscious of what I looked like on a camera then. This guy still gave a f wow. <laughs> He hadn't been covered in cheese head to toe 
or covered in fucking butter and made into fairy bread. See, this guy knows what's up. This guy right here, porn stash juicy, knows what's up, brother. You guys gotta realize how fast all of this like happened for me. Like it wasn't like a normal YouTuber's blow up either. I had a month where I got like 350, 400,000 subscribers or something like that. That's like not, not even normal for someone who's like gaining traction. I had people literally look at me being like, dude, what the fuck? What are they feeding this kid? So I went from being this goober who was poor to a million subs in three months months pretty much so i i he did not know how to act he did not know how to autism be damned though my boy could make a no no square and i'd say at porn stash juicy era right here we're pretty confident right i'm not i'm not getting the same supple little femboy vibes that i'm getting from the first year juicy though that being said i'm definitely way way more confident and comfortable just on camera at this point in time like i would sit there and re-say even at this stage i would like re-say segments for like no reason which now I only do because I'll, I'll, I'll like slur it or, or stutter or something like, but I would just sit there and retake just because I was like, I wonder if I looked weird when I said that. Since I've been covered in cheese and sprinkles and butter, I've actually been fortunate enough to not be covered in a substance. Actually, I was covered in cheese one time for the fanfix video, which also happened to be dollar store cheese, which instantly made my entire face swell up and I was red for like two days. You can kind of tell in this picture right here that, that I was, that was the point, the cresting point where I started turning red. I don't know. I just think it's funny. It is funny. It's really, really funny. Wait, what am I doing? No! Hey! Whoa! What are you doing? Was that Why? not a red flag? Why didn't you guys say something? By you guys, I mean my parents. Should have been watching my videos. If your kid starts uploading Minecraft videos of him pushing baby calves into a ravine, then obviously you need to talk to somebody, okay? The hey, fabled cow here. hole. I love me a good, I love I me a good cow hole. hole. I still do this when I, I, play, this when I play Minecraft. Minecraft. Every time Every I start, start a new world. New world. <laughs> and the milestone is I got 300,000 total views. Oh, congrats, big guy. Yes. I don't know how old nice. I would have been at that point, but 300,000 views? Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty sick. I would have been literally probably like 12. <laughs> like, and you guys gotta remember back in the day, right? Back in the back in my day, back in the day, back when YouTube was first started, it wasn't a very legitimized platform. So yeah, there was people on it. It was people are just starting to make money off of it for a while. They didn't. Views weren't as meaningless. They're not meaningless. But it's like uh, if your grandma made really really cool shiny little eggs, right? If she only ever made two eggs and gave you one of them, the egg is like, it's worth a lot. It's a big deal. But if your grandma made a million, hundred, billion, trillion fucking shiny eggs and then gave you one of them, it wouldn't mean very much. Do you get what I mean? People weren't getting millions of subscribers back in the day at that point. It just wasn't a thing. A huge video was like 100,000 views. A massive video, viral sensation was a million. So 300,000 views actually was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool for a little fella. At those stages on YouTube, we didn't have fucking TikTok or Vine. Shut up, idiot. I was just talking about this. You like pretty much knew of every big YouTuber. You knew them all by name. You had your fucking Shane Dawson. You had your fucking Uber Extra Nova. You had your PewDiePie. You had your Markiplier. You had your Oxcast. Like, can't believe you left out Fred. How you gonna leave out Fred, my guy? You had your Fred. So you, you, you do the whole game. I was averaging around two to six subs a day. My biggest day was when I became part of a conglomerate that covered Fallout 4 content. And I got like 200 subs and lost my fucking shit. That was a crazy time. Probably went out and treated myself to a McGangbang for $3. Can we talk about the socioeconomic state of gangbangs? Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Thank you so much. This looks amazing. It's sandwich o'clock? Already? I'm pausing this recording. Okay, as I was saying before I got distracted by a big sandwich, the current nationwide price for a single McChicken sandwich stands at around $3, with some locations charging up to four or more depending on where you go. This is robbery. Look, people are looking up how to get the $1 McChicken. The McChicken was always $1. Nobody's talking about how the price of a McGangbang has drastically increased in the last three years. I don't know what the f I was doing then, but <laughs> you know, after that, it was just fly line. <laughs> but I kept doing it. And if you're doing it, keep doing it. I mean, my, my subs looked like what he was showing for pretty much my entire life until they looked like this. And it was literally just like that. So if you enjoy it, you want to do it, just literally keep doing it because you never know. I sure as f didn't know. And then this happened. <laughs> Wait, 
this look at this guy why does he look like that man what? <laughs> i remember that video having a really weird description there it is Milasr Milasrdia Daya Milasrdia Is that how you pronounce that? Milasrdia Milasrdia Can we talk about this bozo shelf? Look how much our bare shelf has grown. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. You want to talk about that bozo shelf? Look at that shelf. Look at this. I don't even know if I can get see it. Oh, look at all that. Shelf tour two is going to be insane. It's sad that a year ago I even called that thing a shelf. It's, it's pitiful. I'm a little gremlin. I collect trinkets and doodads. If you guys want to see a shelf tour video, leave a like and comment. I, I still can't believe how good that shelf tour video did and how much you guys enjoyed the Salami Brothers. This me reacting to me reacting video was the beginning of people asking for a shelf tour because that wasn't a thing until it was pretty much. And then people just kept asking and I'm like, am I actually going to do a video where I just go through all the trinkets on my shelf? And you weirdos loved it. I just want you to know if we do a shelf tour today, too. which if you want a shelf tour too then you got to start asking now because it's going to take me at least a year to convince myself to do it it is not going to be an hour-long video it's going to be like two hours at least the shelf the shelf hungers the shelf hungers and grows then came the day that i met he would never meet toasted shoes he would never meet toasted shoes toasted shoes Ooh, and this what? What? your dick twirling in circles that was such a fire edit track where I record my videos and other stuff. Guys, welcome to the first um, face thing ever, but you guys aren't going to see my face. I was um, so nervous sorry, then. Sorry. I was. I was shit scared. You see a creepy ass snow globe right there? When we moved into this house when I was a little boy, growing small man there was a box of really really old antique snow globe and i probably should have contacted a priest or someone to cleanse them because they were fucking ancient dog and there wasn't a couple there was like fucking 50 of them like pallets. pallets of them it was weird pimp player those two dollar bills please i'll peep that sharon bracelet ah! whoa, whoa, whoa wait 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 i might have the ed sheeran bracelet <laughs> Okay, I lied. I don't have the Ed Sheeran bracelet, but damn! That is a rabbit pelt that I bought during the sixth grade Native American show thing. Jimmy Sawgrass. Jimmy Sawgrass sold me that pelt. It's the same one. It's old as Frank, but it's the same one. I still have that. It was sixth grade. It was during PE. There was a Native American thingy mabobber going on, and some guy named Jimmy Sawgrass was selling rabbit pelts to all the kids for $5 a pop, and I bought two of them, and I still have them. An early thanks for 500 subscribers because it's going pretty slow i'll get there eventually though <laughs> damn dog oof oof <laughs> Oh, ah, shit! Jesus Christ! Fuck! We talking about how I uploaded that? Fi I played FNAF ten years ago. That's weird. I'm only 24, and I made a FNAF video ten years ago. That's so bizarre. But something I thought was really cool during the Fallout arc, and I still think is cool. I, I had this million caps daily, right? This little series right here, and this was—I thought this was really cool. I mean, basically, all I did was start a brand new New Vegas save, and it was essentially unedited videos. And I was just doing everything I could to speed run to a million caps. It was like a podcast. All I did was sit there and talk. And it actually got like decent views for me at the time. Like 80 views, 80 views, like 80 people watching an hour long fucking video. And that kept me going during the time. Spit it out, Junior. What is Come it, guys? On. Welcome back for some million caps daily. Boop. Is that even me? Why did I sound like an Indian tech support? Boop. Oh, there's the, oh, that was me starting it and then fucking it up and never cutting it out because these were unedited and I was probably, I don't know, fucking taking the F cat or something and stressed out. Yeah, there's, that was back in the days of using the uh, cracked version of Fraps. How old was I? 2015, then me, I was 16. Now, one interesting thing with the Million Caps Daily that I did not notice is, is, is what is this? What is this link? Like us on Facebook? Why, what? Oh my God, dude, what is this? Welcome to Fallout 4 News. I'm the owner of the page, Venom by 12. That's back when they had the Google URL shortening thingy. You can call me Gage or Venom, both work. I upload Fallout News as soon as possible. My channel is full of high quality content that I think most Fallout fans will appreciate. I also make tons of other Fallout related videos and Let's Plays. Thank you for visiting the page. Now, let's go, pal. <laughs> That's so cringe.
One people reached. Let's go. What would I? What was I doing here? Why? Why? It was literally just a Fallout 4 reporting channel. And funny enough, these Fallout videos, like I said, were like the first videos where I consistently started to get like a couple hundred to a couple thousand views. Uh, but with a lot of themed content, it was all hyped around Fallout 4 coming out. So once Fallout 4 came out, after a little bit, it just nobody watched these anymore. <laughs> what other Facebook pages do I have? We have Bob, the public figure, uh, which was my first Ark Survival camp character dude what 16 turning 17 why was i doing this what a little creep another page the daily cook i do remember this one this was a classic you guys remember uh, cook from ned's declassified school survival guide it was just a like cook impersonation page like a meme page when your girls say you ain't cute but you know you are i'm gorgeous when they don't know you got the nine in your backpack <laughs> what i haven't looked at this in so long she wanted to know my club penguin id big time rush 008 when you nut so hard your glasses fog up all right i'm done Fucking golden gloves baby yeah come up Get hit him with the left here. right nice yeah nice. baby the one two oh, the one two with the oh. spin. a legend reborn <laughs> beats a woman to death <laughs> sorry back on topic back on topic hey what's up guys Ooh. my balls drop too yeah you can yeah. hear it my you balls can. Drop. most definitely you they earlier, dropped hey, like two potato sacks up. i already said that dropped like a sack of rocks i am close to a thousand subscribers oh. like i mean really close like five away or something like that which is crazy for me i never thought i'd actually hit a thousand man oh that's so overwhelming you can cry little, you little cry piss baby, baby. yeah a little yeah. piss baby oh, so, so little pussy. Bitch. what would be a good 1000 subscriber special thing i, mean, I can do basically anything you crying again anything. suck it up junior sorry what was that last part i missed it i, mean, I can do basically anything other than kill myself true yeah you can't do that also peep the dandruff on my shoulder here the boys channel you know like the boys channel this right here was supposed to be our side little group channel where we just played games whenever we were hanging out together we would just upload extra videos no worry about upload schedule or how good it was doing just throw them out there and you guys absolutely blew that shit up and honestly changed my life i just bought a house not to get all sappy with you guys but I never thought in my life I'd be able to do that. I most definitely didn't. Like that, the boy stuff aside, even just the 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 initial blow up and stuff from the VR stuff, it never in my wildest dreams did I, and I still don't even really comprehend it. And it's hard to because even more so than in this video a year ago, it's just busy and busy and busy. And we started, we did start the boys channel. It's just like a little side thing that was fun to do. We'd upload extra footage because we wanted to play rust together which was literally how it started we want to play rust why don't we just upload some rust footage and then it just blew up and now we and now we've gone from just us to this huge team with tons of people involved like each and every one of these boys trips that you guys see there is so many people and so much behind it that it's insane like we have spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on just making videos and the logistics of making videos and uh i think that's one of the most overwhelming parts to me when i look back at the first me reacting to my videos is that it was such an overwhelming time then and it was so uncomfy because it was all so new and stuff and it lets me give myself a little like pat on the back because i was overwhelmed then and shit is like a hundred times more complicated and crazy now and i'm still keeping it together a little bit so right before you guys met me on molly's channel for the first time i mean i was broke dude i didn't think i'd be buying a house like a couple years later you kidding me same guy but a lot different and i'm eating inanimate objects less and less every day a guy told me he watched big mouth the other day and i didn't murder him i'd say that's improvement that is improvement this little goober right here with the beanie on also couldn't believe it and i'll tell you that this greasy man with the porn stash still can't believe it every single day we have so many things happening and so much stuff in the works and we get to live a life of just making all this cool stuff that you guys happen to enjoy yeah it's nuts and it's literally because you guys like i never thought i'd be in this position still don't believe it still sometimes i'm like i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna be working at pizza Hut again when i'm reacting to me reacting to me reacting to my old videos i'm also gonna boom, not be able to believe it <laughs> he called it no nah, i don't get to be real with you guys enough thank you thank you all for everything do i have to cry for the thumbnail i still can't believe it he was right i still can't we're gonna go on
probably the most exciting arc in the Venomite. It's gonna be the GameSpot arc. This is GameSpot game 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 arc. 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 I know it. Yes, yes. yes. GameSpot. You GameSpot. Game you guys. Eat a fat dick. Get it, guy. Get on Twitter. Fuck it, Dan. Whatever his name was, the guy went on Twitter and talked shit about me. You took a little juicy You took everything! You took a little 15 year old and shot him in the head! And then ate his dog. You killed his dreams. You took everything from him. You took his video and didn't credit him. Their whole fing video was just my video. The whole thing! And then the guy told me to kick rocks on Twitter. So I made this video. And overnight, it got like, I think it was like 25k views. Yeah, it was nuts. Waking up it was crazy. the first mistake I make every fing day. But I still haven't changed. I make that mistake every morning. And I see this video on my Facebook feed in an ad. Fallout 4 mods adds gorgeous cell shaded graphics. GameSpot. I queued up the video. I want to see their take on it. What's the first thing you see? Does that look familiar? Well, it should because it's my fucking video. We simply reported on the video. We did not steal it. I mean, they're kind of right, but fuck you. They were kind of right, but fuck you. This is the problem. This is the problem right here. They didn't credit. They didn't credit me. They didn't, they didn't credit me anywhere. Let's go back. Let's watch their, their funny little video. Seven years later, and I'm still leading the crusade against GameSpot. Seven years later, and they finally put me in the description. Fallout 4 mod footage from Venom by 12. But what they don't know, I'm fucking crazy and fucked in the head. We're going to look at a fucking internet archive. I'm pulling you up on it, daddy-o. If I go way back in this machine, and I don't see my name in that description box, I'm going to eat my fucking computer desk. <laughs> I don't think that my name was in the description originally. And I'm not showing you the link because you guys are weirdos. And I don't want you to go, you know, digging up old bones for me. But I can dig them up. They're my bones to dig up. You've probably never thought I wish Fallout was more like Wind Waker. You probably never thought GameSpot would steal your hopes and dreams. I started off with a sweet FX my preset play. for Fallout 4. And then this is my gameplay. To turn on the it looks like shit. Shaded. <laughs> it's such bad footage. And my man toasted shoes since day one banking me. Hey, GameSpot, it would be great if you could totally credit my video in some way when you use it. Seven years later, I'm still pissed. We simply reported on the video. We did not steal Just look at the dandruff. The dandruff. Just fucking brush off your shirt. I mean, they're kind of right, but fuck you. Fuck you. Brush off your shirt. I have one last video to show you that I forgot. Oh, a little a shake, a little tug. <laughs> <laughs> that went hard. People were so mad about that music. Comment after comment. I think there was another video that I did that, that people were like, dude, why the f*** did you use that music? It was like a normal update video, which is really intense dubstep. What is this? I'm excited for Payday 2. How excited am I for Payday 2? Oh, 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 that slaps me underneath. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Payday 3 is about to come out. How excited am I for Payday 3? Oh, 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 oh. I was a Payday 2 fiend and Payday 1 fiend. Absolute monster. I could not stop playing those games. Source filmmaker, Servant Grunt. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Swear. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> nice. Pow, pow, pow. And they're going to be like, ah! and then we'll have pancake. Good job, little fella. That was a, it's truly quality content. I wasn't trying to get views, really. I was just making weird shit. How about new, you crazy Dutch bastard? <laughs> 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 Dude, I remember all oh, the comments are gone. There was a big source filmmaker YouTuber at the time who commented on that. Yes, this guy. This guy, he commented on that. And it was like, it blew my mind. Because I was like, dude, I this is literally I I looked up to this guy. And it looks like he still uploads. You can see where I, I got my inspiration from. That is the type of stuff I watched growing up. Time to go fishing, baby. Touch my bass, Rebecca. Touch my bass! <laughs> Touch, Touch my, my bass. bass! Please? Please? <laughs> Touch my bass. As you can see, um, I drew a lot of inspiration from these videos in my early days. You can even see nine years ago, I commented the good old days. These videos were literally like everything to me growing up. Yes! Yes! 
So that masterpiece I commented on 12 years ago. I, that would make me 12. Uh, <laughs> I know the meaning of life now. Bless your soul, can the gentleman. This explains a lot. If you like doing something, just keep doing it. What this guy saying? What this guy's what saying? Lord, this guy's saying. Wrap up this video on a wholesome note. I left school when I was 17. I dropped out because I had to start making money so that I could live and survive and, and pay rent and shit. Like, I didn't have time for both. School wasn't paying the fucking bills. And I was living on my own. I worked a bunch of shitty $8 an hour Florida wage cuck jobs. And I, I think that that was very important. And, you know, I was editing videos and still making videos. And I had so many people tell me, hey, you gotta, you gotta go get your GED, which is important. And you gotta put more time into working, less time into this fucking shit. You don't make any money from this shit. Obviously, survive, number one. But if you like doing something, make room for it in your life. And don't let anybody this tell you say that it. it's fucking lame or that it's a waste of time, because it's not. It's your human experience, buddy. So go experience it. And do it the way that you want to do it. Because there's almost <laughs> 8 billion people on this planet. And each one of them have hobbies, dreams, aspirations and none of them are you. And many of them will not understand. You only have you to worry about, so make you happy. Unless the thing that makes you happy is, I don't know, watching Big Mouth. F go find a new thing that'll make you happy. Or you might run into me in dark alleyway with a Glock in my croc. Yeah, just f do what you want to do, man. Find your happy, everybody. Find your happy and keep doing it. And everything that this very greasy gentleman just said is still true, will always be true. The thing that you gotta always remember is that if you don't try it, it's definitely never gonna happen. If you have a dream of being, I don't know, a singer, a musician, a YouTuber, you wanna sell birdhouses, whatever it is, and you're unsure if it will ever work or if you'll make money from it or if you'll be able to live, you will most definitely never if you never try. You never will. Then the last thing you want to do is to grow up and know that you never gave it a shot. And if it's something that is important to you, always make time for it in your life. It's easy, it's very, very easy to just fill every last bit of your time with work, with people, with doing things, but you gotta make time for the stuff that you enjoy. And if you're lucky enough, but more importantly, work hard enough, you can make the things that you enjoy into your work, into what you do for a living. And back when I was like just editing videos and delivering pizza, just doing random $8 an hour cuck wage jobs, whenever I heard people say stuff like that, I was like, okay, dude well whatever it, it literally doesn't seem feasible but if this random little florida boy can do it you can too trust me there's nothing special about my situation i just did it and it and it worked and i gave it my best crack and, I, and it worked out okay so go out there and give it your best crack too please might be beautiful it might be wonderful and i promise you will always regret it if you never try and if you don't ever give it your 100 percent. at least when i was doing youtube and stuff it wasn't really a thing that people knew people made money from like people back in the day knew that youtubers made money but it wasn't like a you, d you didn't know any youtubers it wasn't like it is now where the internet is so monetized that you don't even need to be like i don't know pewdiepie like people know pewdiepie but you don't need to be that level to make a living doing something that you just enjoy doing and it's becoming more and more accessible in a way for a lot of people to do that not necessarily youtube but just do what they want to do which is a nice thing to see imagine if i didn't ever give it a shot if i never gave it a shot then you guys would have never given me the opportunity to be living the life that i am right now i would most definitely still be in melbourne florida i would probably still not have my high school education i still don't have that but i'd most definitely not have it and i would just be working like little minimum wage jobs still probably with every single year that goes by all of this gets crazier and crazier and i definitely Definitely don't get enough opportunities to say thank you to you guys through all the goofy, silly ha-has. Uh, we're in said new house. Like, that's that's insane. That is like literally that is because of you guys. Like, literally because of you guys. It's it's really hard for me to comprehend because all I do for the most part is sit behind my computer desk and then go hang out with my friends. Occasionally it will hit me and I'll step back and really, really think about it and just ball my eyes out for a day. I just want to say thank you. I love you guys and thank you for everything making this all possible for me, for me to be able to take care of myself and, you know, other people. And you guys are just amazing. Before we start crying, let's wrap this up. Another year's gone by of me reacting to me reacting to me reacting to my old videos. I love you guys. And I'll see you next year for me reacting to me reacting to me reacting to my old videos. All right. Love you. Ciao. Mwah. Ooh!
So this year has been a pretty crazy one. Me and the boys went to Japan. We did PAX. Like I said in the video, PAX was amazing. Got to meet all you guys. The actual turnout for PAX was, uh, was insane. Like it was well beyond anything that I ever expected. A lot of the trend with all of this is usually well beyond what I expect it to be. I uh, got to meet tons of you guys. Got to party with you guys. It was amazing. Last year during the last reacting to me reacting video it was definitely it was starting to get a little bit rough being away from home so much but we spent a little bit more time back in florida moving into the house which is insane and then i'm going to see all the boys tomorrow as of the filming date of this video which is september 3rd we're all gonna meet up and go do a bunch of stuff and uh go film some silly hahas for you guys we got um one of the most exciting things to announce that we're doing ever which will be announced by the time that this comes out maybe but we have a couple things lined up that we've been working on for a really, really, really long time that are finally happening. Uh, it just gets crazier and crazier every single year. Every single year, I'm like, wow, never in my life would I have thought that that would happen. And then the next year, <laughs> this is the same thing. Never in my life would I have thought that it happened. Homework for all you guys out there is to go out and do whatever it is that makes you happy. Honestly, fuck anybody who tells you otherwise, unless what makes you happy is watching Big Mouth. Don't do that. You'll run into me in an alleyway with a Glock in my crock. You and me, 1v1. But if it's not Big Mouth, then yeah, go go find you happy. Thank you guys for everything. Uh, again, you guys have completely turned my life around and uh, couldn't thank you enough. I love you guys, and I'll see you next year for me reacting to me reacting.